I have mashed in now um, the colors that I want for my ground. And now I'm going to return and with a little bit more care, I'm going to use the magic stroke to tweak my edges. You see that I've got some hard edges in there, right? And I've got a lot of paint. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tweak some edges. I can even go up in, in here now and I'm going to tweak some of these edges so that I don't have to struggle with this. These are going to be prepped or prepared for my step two. And I'm still, you still want to notice the direction of the handle of my brush. What I'm doing. Now I'm going a little bit flatter right now because I want softer edges further away and I want more precise edges as far as uh, the detail of individual blades of grass and tufts of grass. So I'm, I want to have a diminished amount of detail back here that greater detail is in front. Greater detail, less detail. So that's why I did this softening back here, but I still have to do some softening here. So with short strokes, with short strokes, I'm going to go in now and soften some of these lights that I just put in here. I'm going to soften the edges of them, which is going to help me on my step two. I don't want to overwork these so that I lose the light. Now notice how short my strokes are. If you can see this. As I come down my strokes get a little bit longer. And these are going to be to my advantage as I develop my painting. Now, I see an area here where I want a dark. So I'm going to get a darker dark. I see an area that goes too long right here that needs a darker dark to break it up just slightly. You see how that broke that up a little bit? Put a darker dark here also. Just to break up those longer lines. After I finish this for today, I'm going to want you to come up and take a look at these strokes and how with the magic stroke I have created the texture that will allow me to do the foliage in this meadow way, way easier because the texture is there and with a loaded brush with the right amount of paint I can go over this texture now and very, very simply get the essence of a field that's full of a huge variety of, of, of uh, foliage, grass, what we would call weeds, etc. I'm, I have set the stage for making this very easy to do. Now again, before I start painting next time, I'm going to be scraping this to get rid of some of those Dairy Queen curls that are just there because of the 
fluidity of the paint. Okay. Okay, that's enough for today. All right, we'll get back together again maybe in a week. Okay?